see me in the ring, it's raging. No, they brought me here to kick your fucking face in. Whoop ass, get paid. Go to the after party, get laid. When I'm in the ring, niggas getting known. And I take Welcome to Tech Time with Raging Cajun. Uh, we're here at Raw Academy, and I'm just gonna show you guys a very, very basic but very effective escape from mount. Now your number one escape in my books should always be your hip escape, knee to elbow escape from every single position. Half guard, uh, side control, back, mount. Should always be, your number one option should be your hip escape. So this is your typical mount you see in MMA situations. Guy's sitting very hard, high up, so my buck doesn't really affect him very much. Okay, he's gonna sit there and pound me all day. What I need to do is not this. Okay, don't do this. This is very bad. Okay? Elbows in as tight as you can. Wiggle yourself up. You can't push him down. It's not possible. But you can move yourself up. Okay, so I move up, wiggle side to side until my elbows can touch the ground on, on the mat inside his knees. Not out here, in here. Okay? Now, you might be saying, oh, but if, if this is MMA, how do I block my face? Okay, if you just do this, the ref is gonna TKO you anyway. You're gonna get knocked out, okay? Because you're not escaping. Focus on the escape. Learn to take some punches. It's gonna be okay, okay? Here and here. You can block a little bit, but focus on your elbows on the mat. Now I need one leg flat. Okay, I'm gonna go to this side, so I'm gonna flatten that leg. Okay, flat on the ground. Notice how my leg is kind of sitting on top of his ankle here. I just bring it to the inside and flatten it. It has to be on the ground making contact. Okay? Now I need to get on my hip. I can never do these escapes flat. Any escape, no escape works from flat. Okay? So I'm going to turn on my side. I cannot turn like this. Okay? This is very bad. As you see, my elbow is up and exposed. This arm is gonna get locked or my back will be taken. So I call it the G.I. Joe. You know when you used to take your G.I. Joe toys and twist their torsos around and hold their legs? Okay, that's what I'm doing. I keep my torso right where it is, I move my legs. Okay, so now I'm on my right hip. But my, my shoulders have not really moved. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this elbow, keep it very, very tight to my body, I'm gonna scrape it all the way down my body. This leg here, the top leg, is gonna push so my hip moves out this direction. Now, I'm gonna poke this knee, it's called knee to elbow, because I bring this knee up to my elbow. This knee is gonna come out of one of two places. It will either come out underneath his ankle bone here, or it will come out out of his knee right here. Okay, it's up to his balance where that comes. Doesn't matter, either one is good. So I move out and I bring my knee up. See, it's poking out underneath his ankle. Okay, now a lot of times the guy's gonna stay down here like this. Okay, so keep your elbow nice and tight. Continue to push down to here. Soon as the knee passes your leg, you're gonna switch your hip and face back in. Do not remove this, okay? You need this underhook for your half, half guard anyway. So now I'm gonna rotate my hip out He's gonna come down on me, but I'm gonna keep this arm down. So I'm gonna achieve my underhook from here. Okay, like so. Now this isn't the end of the technique because he can still flatten me here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this arm in his armpit like this, and I'm gonna hike this up and curl myself into a ball. Okay, now I grab up here like so and come up on my elbow. This is the end of the technique. Now I'm in my half guard in a very good position to start attacking. I can take his back. I can go under his leg. I have a lot of attacks I can do from this position. Okay, so never stop here in your half guard. This is no good. So we start high mount, keep the elbows tight, wiggle myself up. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Till my elbows are on the ground inside his knees. One leg flat, flat on the ground. G.I. Joe, I turn on my hip. Now I hip escape, moving my hips out this way, and I bring my knee either under here or under here. The person on top 
isn't going to do this here. Okay, they're not going to be postured. What they want to do is they want to base out as, they, as soon as they feel me moving. Okay, so now I hip escape out and I bring my leg underneath his leg. As soon as his, leg, his knee is underneath my hamstring, I'm going to flip. Okay, so stay down. Okay, so from here, I flip. Here, here, here. Okay, not here. Here. Always on the inside of his half guard. It allows you more, better uh, setups for sweeps. Okay, now this hand in his armpit, this hand, height, and curl in a ball. Now, wrap up on the elbow, and up to the hand. Okay, put this hand way out there. If it's here, he's gonna pull it down. Okay, no good. Okay, way out here. Now you have lots of attacks. I can do in order to pass this guard. He's high, I wiggle him low. As soon as he's low, I'm gonna start getting a leg flat. As soon as I start moving my leg, he's gonna base out because he feels my balance, his balance is getting thrown off. So I start moving my hip out, he comes down. Okay, I bring my knee out and underneath his leg. Keep this le arm low, return my hips back into him. Wrap around. Now I height. Here and here. Boom, curl in the ball. Grab, elbow, hand, up, finish. Okay? Okay, so that's Tech Time with Raging Cajun. Thanks to Raw Academy. Anybody wants to learn Jiu Jitsu, come down Monday, Thursday, 7 to 8.30, and Saturday, 4 to 5.30. Peace out. One love, baby.